Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I wanted to bring you guys along for a bit more of a cosy at home kind of vlog today. It is a part two of my previous video. So I did a deep clean and decorate downstairs. So all of the cleaner motivation in today's video is gonna be based upstairs to give you even more motivation. But I just wanted it to be a little bit more relaxed, a bit more cosy. And yeah, just a more chilled out few days. I really hope that you enjoy this one. Definitely go ahead, put the kettle on, stick your feet up, get cozy. But also, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love, love to have you here. Also leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. So while I'm waiting for my bed to dry, I thought I would come in and do the bunny room. Oh, hello, Willow. Hello. So as you can see, it's a bit of a mess, but the tray is just something else. So I need to do it all down here. They do have two trays, and for some reason, this side of the room never gets that bad, but they always just prefer to come over here and destroy it. So I'm gonna go ahead give the like the whole room a good sweep, do the litter tray and just get it a little bit nicer for them. Oh, you're a good boy, good girl. Is that Max? Is that Max? Okay, so it's a few hours later now and it's time for dinner so I thought I would bring you along. We've decided to do HelloFresh and this isn't sponsored or anything like that but we see it like advertised all the time so we thought we'd give it a go. If you've been here before you know that I don't cook, I don't like cooking, I don't know how to cook, like that's just not my area of expertise. Rob always does the cooking but with HelloFresh I like that it comes with the step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Obviously they send you all the ingredients as well, which is super handy. So I'm gonna do the sun-dried tomato risotto today and I'm actually looking forward to doing it. This is another thing about HelloFresh. I think if you're not into cooking, this actually makes it a little bit more exciting and I don't think I can go wrong. Touch wood. I don't think I can go wrong. Um, but yeah, if it looks half as decent as the picture, I'll be really pleased, so. Yeah, let's crack on with this, see how it turns out.
morning guys so i think the last thing you saw was me cooking hello fresh and oh my god it turned out so good definitely going to be like continuing with that definitely recommend it but today i do have work in a few hours time so i wanted to just get a little bit done today so it doesn't all pile up over the next few days so i want to go ahead and do my dressing room like the hallway and the stairs because then in a few days when i've got like my, the whole day off i can do the bedroom and the bathrooms and it doesn't like build up too much but as you can see behind me it's not too bad but it is it's a little worse for wear and it's also looking really empty i do need to buy a few more bits because when i was like decorating downstairs i took a lot of the decor off the shelves and moved it down my eyes twitching so i do need to buy a few more bits but i always say shop your home before you go out and spend money and a lot of the stuff up here just worked so well downstairs that i moved it down but now it is looking a little bit empty up here i actually didn't realize that this would become like my filming room but i actually love just sitting at a desk and talking to you guys like this so yeah this is also my filming room. So there are a few bits that I need to change. Still have that rail. I am going to be getting rid of that soon. Um, I'm probably having like a really nice bench back there and stuff. So yeah, there's still a lot of changes to make in this room. I'm really happy with it so far. So it can just stay how it is. But I just want to whiz around. Do a quick tidy. Nothing extreme. But yeah, just tidy it up. Give it a good dust because dust in this room is something I always forget to do and the big mirror is looking worse for wear so I need to do that. Do a hoover and then I can go out, do the stairs and the hallway and get all that done. So in a few days time when I have like the whole day, I can do the bathrooms and the bedroom because the bathrooms just take forever. I'm definitely not deep cleaning the bathroom a couple of hours before work. So that can wait and I'll do that in a couple of days time, but yeah. Let's just jump straight in and get this room nice and clean and fresh. So now I've done all the tidying that I'm going to be doing before work, I wanted to just have an hour of self-care. I think it's really important. I'm obsessed with this book. I love um, like manifesting, law of attraction. I'm really into that and I absolutely 
recommend this book 100%. Let me know down in the comments if you are into manifesting as well. Um, but even if you're not, I really think that you should give this read. It just makes me happy. It puts me in a good mood and it's honestly made me realise stuff that I would have overlooked before. And yeah, it's just, it's one of those feel good books, whether you believe in the law of attraction or not. I definitely suggest that you give this a read. Trust that the universe will provide you with everything that you need and trust in the magnificent magic of manifesting. It's just a feel good book guys. So yeah, definitely recommend it. But again, let me know down below if you are into it. So for years I've been interested in it, but I haven't practiced it. Like I don't wanna to get too deep in today's video, but it has definitely helped my mental health. It's got like ways to just stay positive and you know, if you do suffer with mental health, you know that being positive isn't easy. And sometimes you have to actually like train your brain to be positive. And yeah, this has actually really helped with that. So if you have any like manifestation and um, law of attraction book recommendations, please do leave them down below because I am obsessed with it. And yeah, it's just, it's helping me in so many ways. So yeah. Leave all of your recommendations down below. Good morning, guys. Okay, I'm looking a little bit worse for wear today. Just ignore my appearance. It's officially hair wash day. And you know what those days are like. So it's just, it's not good. I'm finally getting around to cleaning the bathroom and the bedroom. I mean, I said at the beginning of this video that I need to do it and it's still isn't done and I've been filming this video for like a week so if you are still watching at this point thank you so much for sticking with it I know it's a bit jumpy and all over the place I don't get to finish a video in a day anymore so I just film it throughout a week and yeah I actually really enjoy doing it's more of a jumpy vlog so I really hope that you're enjoying it as well I hope you're getting lots of motivation first things first I'm gonna finish my coffee I need this this is my first coffee of the day and I need it to give me the motivation and the energy that it's gonna take to do the bathroom if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe before you leave and let's just carry on with the cleaning Okay, quick break from the cleaning. I got a little parcel from Asda. I picked up just a couple of home bits. I think I mentioned either in my previous video or the start of this one that I've been sort of moving my home decor up and down stairs and just shopping my home. But because I moved quite a bit from my dressing room down, I needed a few more bits. black knot I have one black item in my um like tv stand so I really wanted to pick up another one and this is like twice the size as I thought it was going to be which is really good it was only six pound six pound for this and I've seen them online for like way more than that and I was not going to pay like 20 30 pound upwards for a decorative knot but yeah six pounds and the quality is really really nice and then i also picked up oh my God, i love it and i've not even opened it yet oh my god i am obsessed with this look how gorgeous that is it looks 
so like rustic and aged it's absolutely beautiful again it is a bit bigger than i thought it was going to be which is amazing i think this was 14 pounds let me have a look it doesn't say <laughs> okay it actually doesn't say but yeah i'm pretty sure that this was 14 and i just think that is beautiful i absolutely love this so my style is kind of I don't know very neutral with rustic vibes i love like worn wood and like concrete cement just natural earthy tones and yeah these work really well together actually so yeah i'm gonna make a real over on instagram so i'll leave my instagram link down in the description below so definitely go and follow me over there if you're not already so you don't miss all of my home updates but yeah this is so beautiful i love it Oh my god. As the home guys, who would have thought it? That is so pretty. Anyway, let's get back to cleaning the bathroom. So this is really annoying because I thought I was filming but I wasn't but I just went ahead and put all of my products back that side. I'm thinking of getting like um, a little cabinet or something to go here for my products and also like a little bath shelf to just have like the essentials on and a candle and make it look really nice but yeah just a slim cabinet would be really nice there so yeah i just went ahead and cleared off the shelf i haven't cleaned it yet luckily um so i'm gonna go in and give it all a good wipe over but it's smelling so fresh in here i just put some zaflora in hot water because then it just makes the whole room smell amazing and honestly just having the bath and like the shower screen clean it makes such a huge difference in this room so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sort this out i don't really know where to put that um that box is just full of my fake tan stuff so i might try and see if i can squeeze that under the bed because it's quite annoying it being there but at the same time quite handy so yeah i need to figure out a place for that but let's just go in and carry on cleaning Please tell me that fake tan comes off of clothes because I've just started to organise it and this one, yeah, it's gone everywhere. So uh, let me quickly deal with this before I dye my hands completely. But now I'm really glad that I've decided to go through the box. But yeah, I really hope this jumper's not ruined. Super quick outfit change and I'm just rolling the sleeves up because I really don't want this one to get ruined but I do have an extra um like organizer thing from Ikea so I'm just gonna quickly transfer them into this I actually totally forgot that I had an empty drawer in my dressing room so I think I'm gonna keep the fake tan in here just for the time being until I can get like a prettier box and then I'll put it back in the bathroom but yeah I really need to go through this now everything is leaking and I actually sort out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of
Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. It is smelling insane upstairs now. I just love when I get the bathroom done because I hate doing it so much. So now it's done and it's just a weight lifted and the bedroom's done and everything is just smelling super clean and super fresh. So I really hope that you found all the motivation in today's video. Do go ahead and leave it a thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to go and follow me over on Instagram if you wanna see how I style my new home decor pieces. I just love styling and decorating. So yeah, definitely go ahead and follow me over there. I'll leave the link down below in the description box and I'll see you guys back here in the next one.